Retailers, always looking for new ways to sell their products, have found a new way to connect with the consumer. These um, really cute sunglasses by Fanta Eyes, and they kind of remind me of like the 60s. <laughs> Not your typical form of advertising, but Annie St. John enjoys telling her YouTube audience, her fellow teenagers. Hi everyone, my name is Annie and I have a JCPenney haul. What kind of clothes and jewelry she's purchased from one of the nation's largest retailers. These homemade videos are called hauls, describing someone's latest buys from a store. St. John's been doing this for a long time before she was discovered by the J.C. Penney Company to do it for them. Tina O'Hara is the president of an advertising agency in Washington, D.C., and says the ads are effective because they spread like a virus. And one person tells, one person tells, one person, until there's an audience that's large enough to actually affect in a positive way the retail. Uh, the traditional brick-and-mortar retailer. J.C. Penney and others, such as Forever 21 and American Eagle Outfitters, are looking to cash in on the back-to-school rush as retailers try to take advantage of their second biggest selling season. O'Hara says retailers have good reasons to use new media to reach young buyers. I think when it comes to watching videos, especially in the YouTube environment or the Facebook environment, the metrics are very reliable and it's very easy to determine success if you're in those environments. Media expert David Leibowitz says these new media tools are powerful and will continue to grow as people learn how to use them. The fact is that it's important uh, for advertisers and brands to create more engagement with their customers and not just present an advertisement to them, but really make them part of the advertising process. It's also very important to build communities of interest around products and services, and social media really helps them be able to do that. Retailers give haulers gift certificates to buy merchandise at their store. The haulers disclose this partnership in the video, but anyone can make a haul video. If the video is popular and projects the right image, the maker might be approached by a company to be a hauler. O'Hara says there is a methodology behind what appear to be unrehearsed testimonials. It's been very calculated about who they're choosing. And for instance, with Annie on J.C. Penney's, she already has a very wide audience that's watching and listening to her advice. So J.C. Penney's was strategic in giving her a thousand dollar gift certificate to go shopping and then talk about what she purchased. It's very important, especially in the youth market, uh, to have tastemakers. And those tastemakers can be uh, influences from Seventeen Magazine, YouTube, MySpace, etc., but also their friends. And that's why the importance of building communities of interest around these brands and having people that influence their purchasing decisions show them the way is really uh, something that, that transcends the type of advertising that we've had in the past on television. All videos are cheap to produce, and in tandem with social networks like Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter, their viral effect can build an audience of hundreds of thousands for a retailer. I'm Philip Alexio, VOA News.